Hi guys, welcome to another beer review. Today we've got something of a special one, I hope. We are looking at the Breakfast Stout, which is described as a double chocolate coffee oatmeal stout, clocking in at 8.3% in a 355ml bottle. So, uh, yeah, I think this is also the new artwork for the beer. I'm not too sure, or the version that's out now is the new artwork. Uh, but yeah, this has got a best before date of the 26th of May 2017 and was brought here to Germany through Hamburg Beer Company. So I will put the link down below to those guys if you're interested to see what they bring to Germany. And uh, yeah, I picked up a few um, founders beers from Beretta. So the breakfast stout. Looking forward to trying this one. I know it is highly regarded. And uh, yeah, we're actually doing a stout night on the Beer Tubers chat. And yeah, I thought I'd pick something special for the occasion. So let's get this beer opened. Nice subtle amount of smoke coming out of there. And you get a nice amount coming out of the neck of the bottle. Uh, this is at room temperature. I've not chilled it at all because I wanted to drink it, you know, try and get all those flavours in there. So let's pour a little bit into the glass and see what we get. And that's got a glug to it. It looks almost quite syrupy when it comes out of the glass. So I won't pour it all in for now because I want to try and conserve this before I actually go online. Um, yeah, I, I tend to drink a little bit too much when I do these beer tubers chats. Uh, but yeah, beer in a glass and that is i don't know am i getting some brown hues in there uh maybe some really dark oaky chestnut sort of browns um it could actually be a jet black beer i'm not too sure no you can see like a slight film but i am holding it directly under a light there but yeah very very dark very opaque you can just about see some carbonation especially when you twizzle it like that you just see that yeah it looks really good, doesn't it? Beer poured with about... It's actually a thin, thin lining of head, but it looks a little bit bigger because it's resting on the side of the glass. It looks like a mocha head. You know, it looks like black coffee in a glass. And, uh, yeah, I love my coffee beers. I love coffee in general, so hopefully I'm in for a treat with this one. Anyway, let's get on with the aroma. Oh, definitely get the chocolate in there. Definitely get the uh, coffee in there as well. You get that slight sort of oomph from the oats in there as well. Adds a nice smokiness, but then you're getting that smokiness from the coffee and then the smokiness from that bitter chocolate. But it's almost like a, a slight milk chocolate aroma to it as well. Very warming. Um, I'm getting sort of like black currants, raisins, that sort of stuff. Rum soaked raisins. Brown sugar, caramel, ginger biscuits. Oh, that smells absolutely lovely. It just warms you up as you smell it. Yeah, that smells good. Perfect winter aromas in there. Anyway, let's see if it tastes as good as it smells. Cheers. Oh, that's nice. It's a lot more mellower than I was expecting it to be. I was maybe expecting a little bit more of a punch from that coffee. Maybe a little bit more of a kick in terms of alcohol. But thankfully, no. It's actually a really nice, well-balanced and not too mellow because it is a robust beer. But it's not like a power on your taste buds. That sentence didn't make sense. You definitely get that oatmeal in there, that slight porridge. It's like you've got a nice coffee, some porridge with some grated chocolate on top. That's the sort of imagery you get with this one. It does exactly what it says on the bottle. It's a breakfast stout. And yeah, 8.3%. Alcohol is slightly detectable. But you kind of want that. You want to know it's there so then you can take your time. I mean, you're going to take your time anyway because it is a robust beer. Very roasty, chocolatey, coffee, slight smokiness. 
elements of like a woodiness in there as well. And then you've got these really nice juicy rum soaked raisins and that sort of stuff like a really nice dense cake mix almost but it's that coffee that is used so nicely in this and then you get like a really nice cakey bitterness on the back end and it finishes a little bit dry body is remarkably light for what it is it's not a light body but it's by far gonna glug you down surprisingly drinkable um, I will say, though, that um, the only reason why you're going to... Uh, completely lost my train of thought there. What the fuck was I talking about? I can't remember. There is, like, a lasting bitterness on the back end. There is, like, a lasting bitterness on the back end, but it's not too sharp. It does have that side kick to it. It's almost like a caffeine kick, a little bit of a buzz. But the alcohol is blended really nicely, just to the point where it's detectable, but it's not going to detract anything or anything like that. Quite smooth as well, although it's not too thick. It's got a nice carbonated body to it. I'd say it's like a, to me it feels like a medium body. But um, yeah, that's a, a wonderful beer. It really, really is. Um, I, yeah, I just love when you get genuine coffee flavours in there in beers and you get that for sure water barley malts wheat malts uh oats chocolate coffee hops and yeast it's just come together really really nicely and founders have the reputation that they have because they make bloody good beer and this is another example of that and uh, yeah that's going to keep me occupied for quite a while so if you've tried this beer, then let me know your thoughts and opinions. What's your favourite beers from Founders that I should pick up? Uh, what are some of the Founders beers that are available in the UK? Um, we can get a few here in Germany and it's slowly getting a little bit more. Um, especially with places like Brewdog opening up in Berlin. They get access to more beers, so you know that means the import companies are coming together, meeting up and going to these events and getting to know each other, getting to know the breweries, so they're more relationships form. I mean, I've seen a couple of posts already on Facebook about a couple of other American breweries coming over here to Germany. So it's just an absolutely fantastic time to be uh, a lover of craft beer here in Germany. And beers like this just make it that little bit more special. So in terms of a rating, I think this is a beautiful beer. Um, definitely a 10 out of 10 from me. It really is. I can't pick any faults. It does exactly what it advertises. Tastes great. Not too heavy. 10 out of 10 from me, from Founders, their breakfast stout. If you've tried this beer, let me know your thoughts, opinions. Check out my Founders playlist down below. And until the next time, you all stay safe, drink good beer, and this video has been awful. Cheers.